Alright, 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 my, 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 Gemini, it is I, it is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion, Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, yes indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for December 2020, show me the monthly energy, you guys, I hope everyone is feeling fine, feeling festive, feeling free, and thank you for checking in with me, baby, um, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, to all my newbies, to every last one of you guys who have clicked, liked, shared, and subscribed to this video. I want to give a big thanks to everyone who's been booking personal and private readings. Um, I checked my Amazon wish list. You guys have sent, I have no idea who it is though, you guys have sent in um, some decks that will be coming uh, to me soon. I was able to purchase a few of them myself. I ordered, I think it's the Island Egger Poe, it's like some type of mystery. I think he writes like mystery books or something like that. Or, um, I don't even, I don't know. But his deck is like very interesting, and I cannot wait to get his tarot deck and then the playing card deck that I ordered. There was a deck that was being sent in by the Amazon wish list, which is going to come in as a surprise. I have no idea what it was. And then I also just made a purchase as well from La Divination, who is a YouTuber here on YouTube. Y'all check her out. This is her vintage, uh, vintage keys, cardamancy deck. So because of you guys' love and support, I've been able to support other YouTubers and, you know, check out their product. And I'm sorry, like, the packaging, baby. I'm in love. I love Law Div Divination, period, anyway. And I haven't seen her face, but I know she is beautiful. And I love that tattoo on her head. That girl, I just know she is a goddess. I already know. But anyway, let me stop going on and on and on. I just want to say thank you for all of the love and support. If there's anyone who would like to send continued love and support, if these videos resonate, give you any type of insight or clarity that you guys need, if you guys want to send love offerings, if you guys want to book a personal and private reading, only thing you need to do is check the description uh, box on this video or check the About tab on my YouTube page. It gives the booking pricing, uh, how to connect with me on Instagram. I only do video readings. So, um... You can connect with me on Instagram to book with me. If you don't have Instagram, I use Google Hangouts, which is a free, easy app to download. The only thing we need to exchange with each other is our email. My email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So you know what to do. Just, you know, if you want to hook up with your sister, get at me. And again, um, check out the Amazon wish list. If you guys want to send love and support, I love new decks. I love, love, love new decks. And going into 2021 season, I definitely want to go into 2021 with a whole lot of new flavors and whatever the new current decks that just drop, I want them all. So if you guys would like to support, check out the Amazon wish list. And of course, you can feel free to send in a dollar or two at the Cash App and PayPal. That never hurts. But click that like button and check out that Amazon wish list. I love new decks. Anyway, let's get into the energy. So let's uh, give praise, let's give thanks to the creator, to Father God, to the universe for bringing us here today collectively. So, Father God, we raise our hand in thanks. We get, raise our hand in um, just giving positive energy back to you, Father God. You already know that we are just living present in our blessings every day. If there isn't anyone that is like remaining focus and acknowledging where we currently stand and just thankful for everything that you've been given it is most definitely gemini my 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 how the time flies it's december already we're already going into 2021 in 2021 father god we came here to have fun I, in 2020 wasn't funny okay it wasn't nothing funny about 2020 it was a lot of death and transformation in 2020 um it was a wake-up call for a lot of people. It changed our standard of life. We've all had to transform um, after 2020. So um, we we trying to express ourselves and be creative and have a lot of fun and uh, just reclaim our victory in 2021. Like we really came in. We're coming in to have fun. We're leaving 20, 2020 with a bang. This New Year's, we going out with a bang, Father God. You know what I'm saying? We going out, we claiming our victory as we going in. So, Father God, we just thank you for all of the blessings and the lessons that you put uh, across our footsteps and our path. We thank you for allowing us to put our head hell high and just walk, you know, with pride and, and dignity. 
and grace, Father God, and just stand in our place. Uh, please give us guidance for the sign of Gemini for uh, December 2020. Show me the money. Thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, girlfriend. Let's get into it. Let's get into her. So let's see what we got here for the center energy for my Gemini's. Let's see what we got, Gemini. Oh, how time fly. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> We got the heartbroken in the reverse. I like that though, girl. We ain't young, sad, and blue. We are not young, sad, and blue no more. No more heartbroken energy. Ooh. Contracts in the reverse. So it's definitely a, a, a broken contract, a divorce, and then the goddess of the moon. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm feeling like some blocked intuition right here with the goddess of the moon. I want to say that had you would have paid more attention to what your gut was telling you, I feel like you wouldn't have had to experience this situation at all. Um, you guys, I feel like are meeting your fears right now. Like this is the thing that you really didn't want to happen. This is the thing that you didn't want to do. I definitely feel like... In order for you to like officially get over this heartbreak and this pain, I just feel like you just have to break the contract. Y'all have to divorce. Y'all need to separate. Y'all have to agree to disagree. This isn't balanced, you know. Um, I just I feel like things are not balanced right now, and you need balance in your life. And um, when I came into this situation, we both made an agreement to honor and to respect each other and to make sure that this is a lucrative and beneficial situation for us both. If it's tilting, it's, it's leaning more towards one than the other. It's more towards your favor or my favor and it's not balanced enough for the both of us. I can't do it. You know? So it's no point of me sitting up here crying, stressing, being young, sad, and blue because we're through. Who gives a shit? Okay? If I'd have used my intuition, I probably would have never even... Uh, agreed to get in this situation in the first place so like this was a wake-up call for Gemini they um, are in a place of refocusing and reestablishing their self and healing from a broken heart some things just didn't turn out the way that they wanted it to and that's just that's just life sometimes you know um, definitely learns how to open up and trust your intuition definitely feel karmic balance right now. Give me guidance on the goddess of the moon in the reverse, please. Yeah, the prince of cups in the reverse and the ten of pentacles. So, again, this is most definitely a situation where you feel that um, the person was more in love with their self than being in love with you and the family. I want to say like your father or like there is a father figure that's been more active in the children's life than the actual father of whoever you have a child with I feel like your grandfather like papa is always looking after the child uh, or the children and papa is more of a father figure than the men that are supposed to be in your children's life um I feel like your dad is tired, too. Why well, I feel like your dad is tired. It's like tired of taking care of your children or something. It's like the father should be there. The father should be more active. Should be. It's like the father should be more of in, in an active role than the grandfather. And I feel like the grandfather is getting older. So, um, I feel like the grandfather... The father of whoever this girl is, it's like, needs the men to step up. Um, so, yeah. Because I feel like whoever the woman's father is helps this girl financially take care of her children. And, like, the true father isn't necessary a necessity because he's running around doing whatever he wants to do. Like, this is the... This is the Prince of Cups in the reverse. So the Prince of Cups is someone that is like extremely immature. I, I don't know why. Did I say Prince of Cups or did I say the Knight of Cups in, in the first time? This is the Prince of Cups. So this is someone that is extremely immature and may not even understand what love is. This is someone that 
could be creating children without a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. It's like this person does not understand the responsibility of love. That's why this girl's father is running like the father may run around and be picking the kids up from school teaching the kids how to play football watching the kids while the daughter goes to work and stuff like that like the father may live in the house and stuff and whenever the baby father come he just be sitting there like oh this fucking idiot like your father may not even talk to this person look because you see the woman is in the back working focusing on pinnacles and shit and here come this nigga like Pushing the father in a position, <laughs> in a more comfortable position, to look after his kids. I don't even, is that, is that a man? Because, like, Slim got a purse on. Is this a man, y'all? I don't know if that's a man, because Slim got a purse on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like, because I don't even, I'm not even sure if that's a man. It looked like a man, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just I don't, I don't like that right there you know I just feel like whoever the children's father is isn't an active father like it's more concerned with their self and their own needs than of the needs of the children and I've been and I feel like someone's father is being taken advantage of because that girl's father is not the father of those children and should not be financially responsible for his grandkids. That's those are those are your kids. Those are not no. And again, I feel like to relieve yourself from this heartbreak, you may be focusing on your work now. You going back to work. Um you staying in your kitchen. That's what they're saying. It's like you may be cooking a lot, cleaning a lot working a lot um it's just like you want to clean this stuff up i feel like you want a clean environment you don't want any recognition of anything that was broken in your house you want everything to be fixed clean and new um the prince of wands in the reverse you got the fool and then you got the ten of swords so again like this person could have shown you from the beginning that they were non-committal like, they could have been in and out, or you could have been, like, just a slide. You could have been someone that they would slide in and slide and out to see why they were with someone else. So, this could very much be... So like I feel like this is someone that showed you from the door that they wasn't shit. But, again, like, you wandered along like the fucking fool. You know what I'm saying? You continue to move forward in faith. I, I, I know that this person showed you that they wasn't shit, or that it was just sex-based. And, I, and I'm serious, I feel like this boy has no problem, because I am calling him a boy, because this is a boy, because I feel like this boy is has no problem with positioning the girl's father in the right place. He don't mind helping the father to do whatever the father needs to do to help him not be there as a father. Do you understand? Like, you do it. Like, I'm out here doing me. Like, you know, I just, mm-mm. No, it's like... <sighs> This person showed you, showed you that whatever was going on with y'all was extremely temporary. Like they had other things that they were doing, other things that were far more impressive and they would rather spend their time doing other things than staying loyal and committed. This was a flighty individual, but still you had a lot of hope and faith and it's like, you was you could have been so in love and had so much belief that this person would come back. Like you might not have been paying attention. That could have jumped over the goddamn cliff with this person and ended up getting hurt. Like I don't. I feel like you weren't paying attention to where you were going. Again, like you were trusting this position with this place in this person, and thinking that there was a sense of loyalty. Where I feel like you was so jovial and just happy at the thought that this person is going to come back one day that you didn't pay attention to where you were going and it's like you fell like you fell hard like you fell extremely hard and those ten of swords it's like 
you could have reached out to this person like hey I'm hurting here can you come and take me to the doctor I need to go and get some shit fixed I think I might have broken my leg like can you please come you were just over here yesterday I need your help you know like I wouldn't have got into the situation if I wasn't following you you could have called this person once two three four times the charm uh, eight, eight times the harm like seriously like this person, it was like several attempts, several tries, several advances that you made possible for this person to come back to help you to receive your energy. And it's like this person just left you hanging. It was like overkill. Like this person could have just came in for the sex. And if it's anything that doesn't have anything to do with sex, this person ain't coming at all. So it's like, if this person think that you are trying to finesse them to come over because you just want to spend time with them and you want to cuddle and watch TV, this motherfucker ain't coming. Like, you coming to give me some pussy? Oh, okay, no. I'm not coming. Sorry, I'm not coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like... This person could have promised to come back or could have promised you loyalty or could have promised you safety and security. And you could have fell flat on your face several times over. It's like overkill. Like this person did enough to hurt a bunch of you. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't a bunch of you. It was just you. It was like, that's enough sort that you should have used to take out an army, not one person. Like what the fuck you try to hurt a person like that for? You know what I'm saying? And so... It's like I got into this agree like I got under I walked into this agreement under false impressions. You know what I'm saying? Now you got the chariot and then seven of swords in the reverse. So you're moving forward with victory like as if victory was your name. It's like I'm cutting myself out of this shit. I don't want nothing to do with this and I'm just moving forward like whatever this person was trying to gain whatever they were trying to do whatever they were trying to pull off like you you already you you see it for what it is like you found out um you found out what this person was all about you do feel backstabbed you do feel hurt you feel like this person dishonored you in such a way that it pushed your momentum to, to, to cut this shit out and move forward. It's like, you feel like this person could have gaslit you. Like, yeah, it was like gaslighting. It's like, it's nothing wrong with me. It's, it's something wrong with you. Like, I'm just going to go talk to your father. You know, so I feel like, I feel like, this dude, like, tried to finesse you and your father. Like, oh, no, I'm coming back. I'll be right back. And then don't never come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person just comes around and see the kids for a few minutes and dips. Or some shit like that. You know? And it's like, I figured out what you, I figured out your whole, your whole thing. I figured you out. I got you. This is the Six of Swords. You see how the Six of Swords is all entangled with each other and then that one sword is just sitting out there. So it's like, you left without the intentions of coming back. And I'm cool with that. Like, I understand the truth now. I figured you out. I figured you out. Mentally, it's like, I had to get over the fact that I've been manipulated and that you try to pull a con and try to pull a scheme on me. Um... I'm not even going to lie, I was the fool. Because I did jump out on faith. I really didn't see this shit. I didn't see this shit coming. You know what I'm saying? But now that I see you for what you are, it's cool because it allowed me to um, update myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a quick thinker now. I know what the power that people possess of manipulation. I know what it looks like now. I felt it. I experienced it firsthand. You know, I was able to regain my composure and decide I don't want to do that no more and walk away successfully. Like, this is not what I want. And what I want, I'm moving full steam ahead. So it's like, I'm glad I got away from the situation. The Seven of Swords is when you get away from something. It's like you're getting 
it's like you it's like someone tried to get away without getting caught but they got caught you see what I'm saying they got caught and you were able to escape the situation like you helped me get out of this contract you know what I'm saying so I can't even say I can't even say uh like I feel bad like you helped me make this decision you know what I'm saying so I just should have seen you for who you were in the beginning like that's my whole that's my whole fault I didn't use my intuition period use my intuition it's like when I seen you pushing my father in the position to take care of the kids as if he was you I should have known like you don't really give a fuck about my father like you 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 weren't really trying to be nice to my father like you were gaslighting him you were setting him up so he could step into your role and you could run out there and go fuck around with other whores and do whatever the hell you wanted to do you know it's like this person is setting the father up to play in their position so they can sneak out of the contract. But no, I caught you, bitch. I see what you're doing. But let me help you. Help yourself to get the fuck from away from me so I can go, go and do what the hell I want to do. Like, you're not slick. I see you for what you are. And at the end of the day, like, karmically, shit was just off balance. So it was, like, going to break down any damn way. Jim and I just said, I seen the best of you in the first two days. Everything else was bullshit. Damn. Jim and I are going. Jim and I is going. Jim and I just said that they seen the best of you in the first two or three days. Everything after that was calm manipulation and bullshit. Child, bye. Good night. What does this say? Work on what has been spoiled. Ooh. Working with what you got, Gemini. It says healing. Correct past mistakes. Making repairs. Clean up corruption. Restore balance. Responsible action. Yes, you were replanting. Replanting. That's why I said that chariot card. It's like, you know where you going. You know what you have access to. And it's like, you're moving full steam ahead. Like, you are power driving. Like, I'm glad that this person got caught. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not have to be blamed for the destruction and the demise of our relationship. Your ass got caught out there. You got caught slipping. But I guess you, I, I guarantee you won't have no position to do that shit again. Like, whatever we had going on with each other, that shit is over. O-V-E-R. I'm so glad that you thought you was slick licks. You can't out trick a trickster. Okay? I'm not fucking stupid. I just didn't want to... I feel like Jim and I was in denial about that shit. It's like, no, nah, this person wouldn't try to steal from me. This person wouldn't lie to me. This person wouldn't try to manipulate me. This person wouldn't try to calm me. No, nah, like, that's just not who they are. Bullshit. This person showed you exactly who the fuck they are. And you helped them right the hell up out the door. Now, didn't you? Now, didn't you? I might have been a fool, but I ain't going to be a fool but for so damn long. I ain't going to be too many of your damn fools now. You hear me? Okay? Listen, I'm working on what has been spoiled, and I'm replanting. Bottom line. Bottom line. What is this saying? The clinging. Oh, goodness. The clinging. So, this says fire, illumination, inspiration, devotion, an all-consuming passion, regeneration, spirituality, virtue, enlightenment. I like this, the clinging. I like all of that yellow. I like all of that vibration. I like that shit. Oh, I feel like y'all on some fire goddess type of shit. Come on, like the goddess of the sun. Come on, illuminate. And let all be free. Like, set yourself free. Come on now. I don't know why am I getting so, like, juiced up, like, right now. It's something about that dance that she's doing. You see that? I feel like you have this clinging sensation that something is about to come towards you and hit you like something. 
it's like you were spiritually guided to release and let go because you just know that there's something better ahead. And not only that, but I feel like you have a good family. You have a good foundation or something. Like, don't allow no one that is not deserving to cling to you. You know? Um, this has lit your fire. Like I told you, you're moving forward with determination. With determination and with like a fire set in your belly. It's just like... I want something more. I want something better. It's, it's like you're not giving up. That contract didn't work, but I'm going for something else. Like, I should have just used my intuition and I'm about to mend this broken heart and I'm about to get it. Like, you're still planting. You're still planting. You're not about to make no mountain out of no damn molehill. It's like I'm still planting. I'm just going to reposition myself. God, I love this dance. I don't know. I, it's, 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 it's as if I can see them dancing, but I don't know why. It's like, I love this dance. I love what I'm getting here. It's like you getting your fire back. You regaining your purpose. What is this? The page of stones in the reverse. So this is like a denial. This is like a denial letter. I want to say like you guys were applying for a job or something and you may have got rejected for something, but just continue to try because I feel like that position didn't fit you. You need something that's really going to grow, something that has longevity in it because like that's the whole thing from you learning from this situation. I feel like this situation right here should help you learn how to accept denial in defeat in your day-to-day -day things sometimes god's rejection is god protection whatever this job is of my i feel like you um like this could even be the contract as well but whatever it is it's being denied it's being refused um it's being blocked or you're like going to be made to wait a little while before they make a decision on this but i don't i feel like you're just going to keep moving on it's like i don't i don't even care you know what i'm saying it's like I don't care. Um, God's rejection. Uh, rejection is God's protection. Do you understand? You need something that is fully set in stone. Something that is going to be worth the wait. Because if you end up having to wait too long for someone to make a decision, you could have found two or three other jobs. You could have positioned yourself in two or three other ways. You could have started and finished school by the time they come back with this goddamn decision. So it's like... If something doesn't work out, don't take that shit as a defeat. Take that as a learning lesson. Like, I may need to sharpen up my skills a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just need to be sharp on my skills. And I'm going to continue to apply. Like, one defeat, one denial, one failed contract does not determine my future that I will not have another. I'm going to I'm going to continue to be on the prowl, you know? Period. And I might just take me some classes and just chill out and just focus on re-educating myself so I can apply for a higher position. Like, I'm not even tripping. Period. Hmm. What is this? You got the Knight of Vessels. When I picked it up, it flipped up. So, like, this is the Knight of Vessels. So, this is like a sudden arrival. Um, I really don't like eels. I feel like they're disgusting. I feel like they're creepy. They're like... I do not feel like this is the correct creature to have on the Knight of Cups. But I do feel like a slithering, like, sensation. Like, a, ugh. I don't like eels. It's just, they just wet and slimy. It's like a a, a sea snake or some shit. It, ugh. 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 I, I'm not getting anything good from that. I mean, I just, I just, I just don't like eels. So it's like, it's bothering me. It's wet and slimy. Just, ugh. Um, I definitely feel like something may be... Something may just cross your path. And I, and I want to say it may run across your foot. Ew, 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 ew. They say someone might run over your foot with a bicycle. What? The fuck? How the fuck is someone about to run over your foot with a bicycle? It's like someone's going to bump into you, just like you standing there, just like, pow, like, what the fuck? And, uh, what? What? Like, 
I don't know. I'm feeling like someone is like going to crash into your car. Someone's bike is going to crash into your car. Someone's going to hit you with a bike or something. It's just going to knock you right off your feet or something. But it's like they just slither the fuck into your life like just like that. I feel like an accident. It's like an accident waiting to happen or some shit. I guess, look, it's like you sitting right here too busy focused on planting this new tree after everything done burnt down. You ain't paying no attention and like, boom, this motherfucker come with a chariot and just run right over top of you. Because it's, I mean, like the person paying attention, but I feel like the person was moving so fast that it couldn't slow their bike down and you down there planting a fucking tree and shit and this bitch trying to like drive the bike on the sidewalk at full speed ahead and shit and just like runs right over your foot or some shit like that and you like god damn like what the fuck you were paying attention to planting and doing whatever you were plant you were planting and this person it, they were watching where they were going but they just moving fast as hell it's just like and it was an accident waiting to happen because here you are just all in the middle of shit, planting stuff, just like all willy-nilly or something. I feel like after some rejection, like something suddenly is just going to like crash into your life. Like, and then you got the death card here. So this is the journey card. And as you can see, you see the um, crow picking the brain of the deceased animal. So it's like... It's like learning from the dead. You know what I'm saying? Like picking this person's memory before they pass on. So it's like, remember that rejection right here? That rejection letter. I want to say that that helped you learn so much about yourself and let you learn so much about other people. So when this sudden thing just comes in, runs you over, runs into you, I feel like you are prepared for it. Because you learn how to take a different plan of action when it's someone that doesn't care about your heart. Someone that doesn't commit to obligations. Like, you learned... You learn so much from that. I want to say you understand the mindset of a narcissistic person that is just all out for self. You understand the mindset and the movements and the, the skill set. It's like so you might have killed and got rid of that past energy but you and you didn't throw everything away before you were able to pick the brain and pick apart and pick the pieces that you needed to learn from it's like you absorbed all of that knowledge from that situation so you learn how to take rejection do you understand what I'm saying like I don't think you trip over um, no answers no more. No, shit wasn't for me. Because when I trip on and I try to fit things into my life that just don't fit, that's how I end up in these seven of swords situations and broken contracts or something. Like, I'm learning to accept no for an answer and get it. And I'm not prepared for it, or that shit ain't prepared for me, or I ain't going to learn nothing from it. So ain't no point of me putting myself in this situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I feel like whatever is meant for me will come into my life suddenly as if almost, as if it slithered into in my life by accident. I still don't like the fucking word slither. I don't like that. I don't know why. It's like slithering. Like, isn't, isn't that from, uh, isn't that what, what, what this little group was called on, um, why well, I want to say the Game of Thrones, it ain't the Game of Thrones, 
what is that? Harry Potter or something? It's Slytherin? Give me one more card. What is this? The Ace of Vessels. So it's, again, it's like you got a taste of what love is and what love isn't. Again, like I said, the motherfucker's slithering. You don't like slithering. You don't like people from slithering. Is that what the place is called? The, the bad people? The, the, the devil. The, the Bitch, I'm trying to tell you, like, you didn't like slitherings. Like, you don't like snakes and eels and how you, you don't like that shit, bro. I promise you. It's like. Because I'm like, why the fuck I keep saying slithering? Because it's like I wanted to like this Knight of Vessels, this eel, but I didn't like that motherfucker. It was making me itch, yeah. It was, and then it's like, even the way the person slithered into your life, it's like by accident or something, but it's like, it's just weird as fuck. I'm sorry, Gemini. I feel like the devil is going to try to chase you on your journey. But at the same time, it's like you've learned the lesson last time. I'm trying to tell you, like, you understand how to accept rejection and to, to accept no. That shit wasn't for me. Period. I wasn't going to learn something from this situation or... The, the situation wasn't going to learn. It wasn't best for me. It would have been a waste of time. Again, the devil is about temporary satisfaction. Something that's temporary. Something that is comes in quick and leaves out quicker. I'll get you all excited for no reason. And then you'll be sitting around fiending and wondering where it's at. And how I'm going to get it. And willing to go through stupid things to obtain something that God don't want to give to you. Do you understand? This night of vessels, like... I don't like eels, and the only thing I can say is Slytherin. Slytherin, I swear, is the bad group in Harry Potter. Pay attention to the person's foundation and where they come from. I feel like they don't have any legs. They just slither around, just sneaky, and just... Mm -hmm. Just come suddenly in your life. Learn how to say no. Learn how to reject shit. Because even though it may look good and it may come in a perfect path package, clearly the devil is behind this shit. God is teaching you how to say no because I'm trying to tell you like you've transformed. You've already learned from the dead situation that you just buried and, and, and found from the past. I mean like you found what you needed to find and what you were supposed to get out of that. You are learning from the dead, from the people that you did, you buried before you. So it's like, I don't think that you're just going to let just anybody just come pop up at your door and slither in trying to advance themselves, acting like they're offering you love when they don't. You know what I'm saying? No. No, it's like the devil is behind. It's only temporary. Like, I know false love when I see it. I know false love when I see it. And, like, sometimes rejection is God's protection. It's something in me is saying, don't get myself involved in this. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough energy. Um... Or flat out something is just telling me to say no. I, it's, it's the way the person just knocked into me, just knocked me over, just disrupted my life or something. It's like, mm-mm, I ain't like that. And again, I ain't like the clinging. I mean, I like the, the fiery dance and shit. I don't like the, the word, the clinging, because that is the devil energy. That, that's, to, that's toxic. That's, um... You know, like a codependent type of thing. So, I feel like, now I'm going back to that. I feel like this is definitely someone that you've rejected. Um, because you don't have time for it, period, with the page of stones in the reverse. You don't have time for this person. But still, here they come with the Knight of Cups trying to slither into your door. It's like they're trying to slither up under your door after you already know. It's like you keep trying to kill this person off. 
you keep trying to kill this person off and rejecting this love. You know, you're pouring out like I don't want it. I don't want it, but it's like the, again, the devil keeps trying to remind you of old memories and trying to feed you with old temptation, like try to remind you of the sex and or try to bring on this on pour of information to make you feel like you'll never have love or something like that. It's like something extremely negative because you're finally getting to the point where you're rejecting toxic shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the devil is still coming after you to kind of make you feel like you should be tempted by, oh, I don't like that. Jane Austen. I was about to buy, is, is this Jane Austen that I'm going to get that shit. It says none of us want to be calm waters all of our life. It is a truth universal Acknowledge that a single man in possession of good fortune must be in want of a good wife. There are as many forms of love as there are moments in time. None of us want to be calm waters all of our lives. I feel like that's basically saying like you like a little adventure. You like passion. You like a little resistance sometimes. I feel like Gemini, you like something to fight for, but at the same time, you don't like to continue fighting. The Prince of Cups in the reverse is someone that wasn't in for the long haul, and that's the thing that again made you feel like this person. Oh God, I cannot take this fucking call. I just fucking told y'all that. And I feel like that's why this person feels like I was good to you. I showed you I was good for you. Um, it is a truth, truthful, universally known fact that a single man in possession of good fortune must be in one of a wife, right? There are many forms of love as there are moments in time. So... That's why you guys rejected this. And, and, and I feel like regardless of how much the devil tries to tempt you, I don't think that you are going to like involve yourself with this person that you had this contract with. Um, there are many forms of love, but all of them are not necessarily right for you. Like you have to learn how to trust your intuition and reject some shit. Like every, every, every outfit ain't going to fit. Do you understand? Every outfit is not going to fit. So I feel like you rejected one thing and that God gave you the trust, the power in yourself for you to move forward. And I feel like the devil chased after you and tried to offer you something different, like the same shit in a different toilet. But you were like, um, with this death card, no, nah, I'm good. Like, I already told you no with the page of stones in the reverse. I already told you no. So don't try to slither around me giving me an offer in a different vessel. Like, I don't want this shit. I don't want this shit. I learned, I've learned my mistake fucking around with you last time. Hell no. Hell no. Mm-mm. No. And then that none of us want to be calm all of our lives. It's like... I feel like you do have a sense for adventure and, and, and like danger in your life, but it's like I don't like playing with fire too much here. Emily Bronte, I've never got this card. If you ever looked at me once with what I know is in you, I will be your slave. Ooh! It says, if you ever looked at me once with what I know is in you, I will be your slave. Like I told you, the devil. Ooh, Jesus. Hearts can be broken, but souls should be shared. Ooh. Love is like the wild rose brier. Friendship like the holy tree. But which will bloom most consistently? F 
fuck? If you ever looked at me once with what I know is in you, the devil, I would be your slave. The devil, like, that's the devil, bitch. That's the devil. It's, I not, and I feel like you've already looked at the devil in the eye and moved on. It's like you, 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 you facing the devil. Like, I definitely feel like it's like you breaking this contract with a toxic ass situation. It's like you've hurt me 10 times, tenfold. I might not have had my intuition then. But after I got my heart broken, I've got it now. Hearts can be broken, but souls should be shared. I don't want to share. Souls should be shared. The fuck? Love is like the wild rose brier. The fuck is that? Friendship like the holy tree, but which will bloom constantly. The only thing that will bloom constantly is whatever God has given you. Like I told you, anything that the devil give you, all right, is temporary. 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 It is truth and universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of good fortune must be in want of a wife. I feel like there's someone that's been trying to play it safe all the time. Not just some of the time, but basically all of the time over here. It's like you ain't trying to be calm all your, all your life. It's like you really wanted something exciting. Something exciting. But at the same time, it's like you're learning how very many different forms of love is like there's some forms of love that's toxic there's certain forms of love that are toxic and possessive and there's some that are natural that are healing you know it's like you gotta figure out what you want you gotta figure out what you want and I definitely feel like now that this person knows what's in what was in the person that they're dealing with if you ever looked at me once with what I know is in you, I will be your slave. And that's why you don't really want to look at this person again. Like, you know what's in this person. Hearts can be broken, but shows can be shared. I really feel like that shit is creeping me the fuck out, especially with the devil being right there. It's like the devil is almost saying, like, no, mm -mm. give me guidance. I, I'm just glad that you got away from whoever the fuck this person is. I ain't even about to lie, bruh. And then you got the Five of Swords again. And then you got the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. So, like, I, Jesus, like, this is the Thief card. This is like someone after your money. Thinking that you're going to come back and shit like that, bruh. It's like this person feels like they successfully stole something for, from you. Like you you were successful and you had a lot of things on you. I feel like you had a lot of prized possession, a lot of material possessions. And this person came with the five of swords and manipulated you and stole like a part of you or some of your... It's like... It's like this person stole your common sense or some shit like that. Where it's like you weren't thinking correctly. It's like you almost couldn't see them coming. Because you see like how this is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is when someone walks away from a situation knowing something isn't good from them. This is when they're saying like, this person had the nine of pentacles. You know, the five of swords is like the thief, the traitor, the thief. You know, 
but it's like the bad person card. So you had the nine of pentacles. This person come came and took something from you that wasn't theirs, knowing that you were going to come back and get it. You know? Knowing that you were going to come back and get it. And it was going to stress you out until you... Like, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I feel like this is someone that was out for your resources, too. Like... I don't feel like there's any love here at all. Like, at all. At all. At all. And you see, like, how, again, it's like this Ten of Pentacles. It's like a Ten of Pentacles, but it's like the father, the grandfather is more in the house than the actual father. And you see how the father is pushing the grandfather in the position to play his role while he's not there. But he can come in and out whenever the hell he wants to get pussy, to spend time with his kids, to get money, to borrow a car, to do whatever the fuck he wants to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the grandfather is being pushed forward into the spotlight in regards to the masculine role. I definitely feel like whoever was dealing with someone could have definitely... They seen your resources and your comfortable environment and what they can gain and what they can lift off of you. It's like, this girl got so much money, I'm just going to steal a little bit of it. She ain't even going to see it. She ain't even paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, the five of swords is like a lose-lose. Like, you being outsmarted, you being outwitted. Like, you know, you being sent back with your tail tucked between your legs. Like... They planned for you to lose. Like, they, they did not think that you were smart enough to overpower them or even try to combat with them, even with words. Like, you can't physically beat them and you can't mentally beat them. It's like you being outsmarted. You being outsmarted. You know? It's like if I take, if I just take this, if I take this. She going to try to walk away, but she going to come back, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I got this motherfucker emotionally. So it's like no matter what I do to this person, she's always going to come back to me because it's like I got her in my pocket. So, like, that's kind of what I got when it was like hearts can be broken, but show, souls should be shared. So it's like. The devil is telling this person, I'll let you have this girl, but you got to share her with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to make her come back to you, but we just you just make sure you get the rest of her resources. And, you know, we're going to drive this bitch crazy. It's like, this is almost like, like, it's like the devil is pleased. You know what I'm saying? The devil is pleased. I don't like that, though. I like I really 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 don't like that it's like this person is trying to be a consistent nightmare in your life but if you keep going back like that's what's going to happen like that's what the devil is trying to get you to do um it's like trying to get you to walk back into the same shit in a different toilet and it's like I feel like someone may be slithering to you in a different way in a different form in a different mechanism or some shit like that just to get things going only for it to like turn out to this anyway it's not love it's just finding like a different way to get you or some shit like that the date it may be someone new that you meet pay attention to who y'all be meeting bruh cause I feel like the devil is going to try to throw um, the same shit at you in a different fucking way and they think that you're going to fall for it but I don't think that you're going to fall for it the page of stones in the reverse is like rejection the death is like the ending because it's like I don't I don't want love right now like I'm replanting something else not only that I, I, I feel this energy behind I, uh, listen you may go out on a date but I don't think that you are consistently looking for love. I, 
whoever you you're talking to and that's been trying to seduce you over the phone over the internet whoever it is you you feel like they're not enough like whatever they're saying is like is it's not good enough for you um it's just not it's just not it's just not and I really feel like with this clinging here, it's like, uh, I don't know if this is a new person. It, or I'm just feeling like this person want to try to sliver back in a different way and trying to get things started back, trying to date you again. It's like this person want to, it's like this person and the devil is in cahoots with you for your goddamn soul or some shit, your damn spirit. And I don't want to sound like that because I know it sounds creepy, but that card just freaked the shit out of me. I've never even had that card come out before. I don't like her thinking. Like, what you mean? If you looked at me once with what I know is in you, I would be your slave. Like, what the fuck do you mean? What you mean if I looked at you once? When I know what's in you. What? This? This? Like coming around offering all of this good shit. But for real, for real, you're not good at all. It's with the intentions of enslavement. Of entrapment. It's not good energy. Why else would they be slithering? Like I'm so serious. I don't like that shit. Hearts can be broken, but souls should be shared. What? Am I tripping here? Am I? Is this not giving you some some weird ass in what? Love is like the wild rose beer. Friendship is like the holy tree, but which will bloom more consistently? Love is like a wild rose, and friendship is like a holy tree, which one will bloom consistently? It's like, it's like having you choose between the devil giving you something fast and quick but don't last long versus God giving you something that'll last longer but you have to wait years for it to develop and to mature and grow. And I, I don't like that. I don't like you. I don't like you. At all. Give me guidance here. What's the, what's the part in guidance for Gemini? Like pay attention to the people that you're dealing with. I feel like Gemini, the person that you're dealing with is trying to feed your soul to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not trying to make it sound like that because I know that sounds so fucked up. But I'm just, I'm so serious about it. Look, the high priestess, I'm so, I'm so serious, bro. Like I am like, whoever this is. That you dealing with. They up to no good. Their energy is no good. And the more and more that you try to successfully cut them out of your life. And move on. The more and more they are going to try to cling and attach themselves to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you're too confident with yourself. You understand? You're too confident. And you broke this agreement. So it's like you're trying to break a contract. With the devil. Or someone that's attached to the devil. And it's like the devil is not just going to let you get away. But at the same time with this high priestess here. It's like you're keeping yourself secluded. And you're keeping yourself hidden from this person. I feel like you're keeping yourself hidden from this person. Because you know what this person's intentions is for you. you you've seen this person's light and their darkness. You've definitely seen this person's darkness. And you may be studying right now on how to protect yourself. How to keep yourself secluded. Like, yeah. Like, you have this intuitive pull. It's like... Like, you may even feel like this person may be slithering around. So you may be preparing yourself to get ready to reject them. It's like, you may have been getting guidance in your dreams or something. Like, this person is going to come around acting different. On a, in a complete, totally different form, acting like things have changed. What is this? The Queen of Swords. Oh, baby, you ain't playing. Listen, this is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. The Queen of Swords in the reverse is like a complete fucking bitch. Like she, she don't want to hear your truth. 
she don't need no allies she don't need your resources like she is the neck rolling gum popping jaw dropping ass bitch like she like to fight she like to cuss she like to spit don't come at her with no bullshit she is not playing with you i definitely feel like this queen of swords is like she said with, with this high priestess right here she most definitely is arming herself with the truth with her truth so help you god for what she's seen and what she knows is true so i feel like this woman is a little bitter and angry and a little bit disgruntled and I, 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 I definitely feel like if you come at her wrong she may cut you like for real for real because she already knows what she knows she's already seen what she's seen like you if you come around her lying like it's off with your head what is this the will of fortune in the reverse like yeah she feels like she has been on the negative end of the stick like she's been at the bottom for a minute now and she's ready for things to turn around and go on the way up you got the eight of challenges yeah she's definitely tired of someone walking in and out of her life i feel like emotionally right now she doesn't even give a fuck what is this this is the princess of pentacles in the reverse yeah it i feel like it took a long time for her to learn but she had to it, it says she had to complete they're saying it took a long for her a long time for her to learn and to complete her skill set training uh thing I, and, I, and I definitely still feel like you're learning right now. You're still learning right now. You got the magician. So you're definitely trying to manifest. You're using your intuition. You're using your resources that God has given you. I feel like you're being responsible. And it's like if someone wants to walk away, let them walk away. Like you're more fortunate for it. Because what goes up must come down. And what goes down must come up. So right now... Things have been down, so you won't have anywhere to go but up. If someone want to walk away, let them walk away and close the door. And let them walk away and walk out of your life for good. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, there's a reason why you're by yourself right now. Because I feel like you're tired of the lies. And not only that, I think things that ended up getting volatile at some point with you. Especially with you. Because it's like, you're, you're tired of this. You're tired. You're tired. I feel like you need to focus more on your money. Focus on your education. And what you're trying to call into existence. With this magician card. Um, I definitely feel like you're tired of manipulating. Manipulate, manipulative people. And you're just trying to use your energy. And your resources in an appropriate way. You've got the king of cups. In the upright. You, you want someone that's balanced. And that feels their emotions. Shows their emotions. And like gives you everything that you desire like you want to be pampered you want to be desired you want to be kissed you want to be missed you want to get those you know the poems and the nice dinners and you know the pampering it's like you really want all of that and that's what you deserve you just have to find your inner strength and learn how to fight and battle your own demons and your desires to be with whoever this person from the past is. I really do feel like whoever this person that you were dealing with in the past, Gemini. This motherfucker is a mess. And the more and more you attach yourself to this person. The more and more you're attaching yourself to this entity. Whoever this person was in your past is like a bad person. And y'all have to pay attention to people's energy. And what type of energy possess them. Is there any positive things coming in this person's life? Is there happiness surrounding this person? Or is everybody that is associated with this person? Um, is it a lot of misfortune around? Just pay attention. Pay attention to people and the people around them. Like, are things positively growing around them? Are things... Growing with longevity or do things just come in quickly and leave quickly? You know what I'm saying? Like you ever seen people like they be doing real, real good for a couple of months and then everything just crash. And then next thing you know, like everything in their life is is, 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 is a whole bunch of drama and a whole bunch of 
fussing, fighting, and arguing and shit, but they were just good a couple of weeks ago. Now, all of a sudden, everybody walking out of their life and ain't thinking about coming back and, or delays of prosperity are coming. People are stealing and robbing from them and, like, all of this shit going on, but just, just a week ago, they was up. Ask questions. How you was doing so good and next thing you doing so bad? Because people be doing things they be making deals with the motherfucking devil like you can he you can have whatever you want it's just going to be temporary and when it's time to pay the piper because always know whatever the devil gives you there is a price to pay for it he will make you it's like this is what he will do he will satisfy your desires so good he'll put you up so good all the way up here where you've never lived a life that lavish before. But then when he, like I said, it's temporary. He drops you on your face. And when he takes you away, I mean, he takes that shit away. And he drags your face across the mud. You ever seen someone be in a fight in their face? You ever seen someone grab someone by their hair and drag their face across some concrete or across like... I've seen that before. Tarnishes your beauty... Your essence, everything. If you ever been dragged like that, honey, that's embarrassing. Someone just took you by your face and just dragged you across the motherfucking mud. It's hard to come up out of that shit. You was all the way up here. Now you done just got embarrassed and dragged for all for all of everybody to see. Sometimes when shit like that happens to people, look, healthy choices make healthy choices. When things happen like that to people. And they were all the way up here. Then they get dropped and dragged. They'll be willing to do almost anything. Just to have a piece of that success. A piece of that notoriety. A piece of that fame. A piece of that fortune. Just to be back up here again. Because they done had a taste of it. And that's what the devil wants you to have. Just a taste. Remember I told y'all the other day. A dollar per daisy you do you. A dollar per daisy you do you. Remember that's like. How most people in this on drugs, they say, oh, I only smoked crack one time and I was I was an addict and I was hooked. I only did heroin one time and I was an addict and I was hooked. I only did Molly one time and I was an addict and I was hooked because I had so much fun. Or I did this. Or it made me stop thinking about that. Or I was able to blue, blue, blue. And like people actually use excuses for why they use drugs. Like, oh no, it helps me focus. I'm more creative when I'm high. Like bullshit. Think about it. I'm more creative when I'm high. So the devil will give you this drug. Which is something that is fucking you up. For you to feel like you have the power. And the ability to, like, it, it's just, it's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. So, again, like I said, is that rose bush going to bear more fruit, more fruit or bloom more frequently than the, than the holy tree? Of course, it's a rose bush. A rose bush is going to constantly be blooming more than anything that you would see on the holy tree. But the holy tree is still holy. It's still holy, my nigga. It's still holy. Pay attention to what the devil be tempting y'all with and what y'all see be happening to other people. If people get a whole bunch of quick fame, success, and notoriety and stuff like that, and it go in quick, and then you see everything start crashing around this motherfucker quickly. I mean, quickly. And then the next thing you know, in a little bit, they back up again. Question that shit, man. You don't know what the fuck this motherfucker is doing. You don't know what he's offering. You don't know what he's he or she is sacrificing, selling their soul to get to get those things. That's why I always tell people, don't ever envy what someone else has. You have no idea what the fuck them people are sacrificing or what and who they done sold their soul to to get it. I'd rather you wait. I'd rather you wait. And y'all broke that contract and y'all trying to run. And it's like, they running after you. And I'm trying to tell you, the devil will try to manipulate you. Because remember, I told you, the high priestess, you've seen this person for who they are, for what they are, blah, blah, blah. The person try to get away, try to get caught with stealing stuff from you. And, 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 mm-mm. Mm. 
Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm just running my mouth, Gemini, because, like, that that energy bothered me so bad, y'all. It really, really did. Anyway, I love y'all. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for loving yourself. Peace.